In this video, we're going to be finding the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of this function on this given interval. So a key word here is really absolute. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to calculate the derivative of our given function. So the derivative f prime of x is going to require the power rule, but the derivative of a constant three is going to be zero. And then we can bring the minus two along. And then the derivative of x squared is going to be bring down the two, reduce the exponent by one, so that'll be x to the first power. That'll just give us negative four x. Now maximums and minimums can occur whenever we get critical values or critical numbers when either the der first derivative is equal to zero or when it's undefined. So in this case, if we want to figure out when does it equal zero, we'll just set it equal to zero, divide both sides by negative four, and we get an x value of zero. Not that surprising on this one, I don't think. Um, now we could use the second derivative test, calculating the second derivative, f double prime of x is just gonna be negative four. Uh, no matter what value of x we plug in there, it's gonna be a negative value. So what that tells us is that the entire function is gonna be concave down. All right, concave down, looks like this. So what we're thinking is that should tell us we get a maximum. However, we're not sure if that's the absolute maximum uh, is gonna occur at an X value of zero or not. All right, so there's an extra step that goes into finding these absolute maximums or absolute minimums. Because this is limited to this particular interval, what we wanna do is we wanna plug in the X value that we found, X equals zero and negative four and positive two from our interval. So we're gonna plug each one of these into our original function and compare them. Basically say which one's the biggest, which one's the smallest or most negative. So we can say three minus two times negative four squared is gonna work out to be with a little bit of arithmetic here, negative 29. We're gonna plug in zero, the value that we actually found from the, the first derivative, three minus two times zero squared is three and f of two, the right end point for our interval, three minus two times two squared, uh, three minus eight is gonna be negative five. All right, in comparing each one of these, you'll notice that three is the largest value. So this is gonna be the absolute maximum is gonna occur at zero. Kind of what we said down below with the second derivative test, um, we get a maximum, of course, at uh, zero that critical value. But then the very smallest is gonna be negative 29 is further negative than negative five. So this is gonna be our absolute minimum is gonna occur at negative four. Um, the value that we actually get, you would, uh, the actual uh, minimum is gonna be negative 29. It occurs at negative four. The absolute maximum is gonna be three and it occurs at zero. All right, hope this helps out on finding max, absolute maximums and minimums. Good luck to you on it.